Good morning guys welcome back to rock fabulous 40s and it is sunday morning and this is the first time i've recorded probably in about a week i've been kind of not feeling really well so i didn't want to get on camera and do a whole lot of recording but this is me sunday morning me and my ponytail messed up hair and t-shirt um but i've got you guys with me here this morning because i do want to do some recording and i'm going to do just some simple Sunday morning kind of makeup. Nothing big or, you know, dramatic about it. Just real easy, simple. It's Sunday morning and I'm doing nothing but some filming and lounging around the house today. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. And I'm going to start with a primer because I always start with a primer. By the way, don't mind my hair. It's kind of got a mind of its own today and I just really didn't feel like fixing it. So, you know, it just kind of is what it is. Anyways, my bangs are going to bother the crap out of me. I know that. Um, so I'm going to start with a primer and I'm going to use the Boots Number no. 7 Airbrush Away Radiance Boosting Primer. This guy right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just take... I like this stuff. I'm going to use about that much. It looks white. But then when you start spreading it out, it has kind of a pinkish radiance tone to it. But I find that the pink really brightens the skin and it doesn't um, stay looking pink. Like you can't tell that you have like a pink primer under your foundation. It just makes it look just a little more radiant. Yes, my bangs are gonna bother the crap out of me today. I can already feel it. I'm primed and now I'm gonna jump right in with foundation. I'm going with a real simple, easy foundation. I'm using the e.l.f. foundation palette and mine is in light medium. And because I have been self tanning, I am a little bit darker, so I'm probably gonna go with the darker shades today. I will probably go with, it's a mess guys. I'm sorry this thing, I use it, so it's quite messy. <laughs> I will probably go with a mixture of this one, the darkest shade in the palette, and maybe a tiny, tiny bit of this one, and we'll see how it comes out. So I've got my Tarte Flat Top Kabuki brush here, foundation brush, whatever you want to call it. And here we go, digging right in. I'm not really going for a whole lot of coverage today. I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to be doing some filming and lounging around the house. And, you know, my skin's doing a lot better lately, so I don't feel I need as much coverage as I used to. Okay, foundation's done. I'm going to jump into just a tiny bit of concealer. I'm not going to use much today. And I am using the Benefit Erase Paste in number two medium. I really enjoy the erased paste because it is so creamy, but yet it doesn't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles under my eye. And it is very color corrective. It's got that salmony, peachy tone to it. And I really, really like that for my dark circles. Okay, and then right over the top of that, I'm going to go in with just a bit. Look at that, I missed some hair out of my ponytail. <gasps> oh, I have to push that back there. All right, so I'm going to go in with just a bit of my It Cosmetics CC Plus Eye. This is my, I've got to tell you, my one of my favorite concealers. I just love this. And it doesn't take much. I mean, literally, that's all I use. That's it, right there. And I will dot that under my eye. Actually, that much will work for both eyes. I will dot it under my eye and just kind of smooth it down a little bit. I never take it completely around the eye this way because I find when I do that, because I have fine lines over in the corner of my eye, it does settle in those. So I just take it straight down and blend. All right, now I'm gonna set with just a little bit of powder. I'm using my Bare Minerals, this is the Translucent Powder Duo, this guy here, and it's got a matte setting powder on one side and then what they call a glow right here on the other, and the glow is supposed to give you a bit of a natural highlight. I find that it actually does. I mean, you can build it up, but 
I don't find that I really need to build it up. And then I, it also came with this little brush. It, when you order it on QVC, you get the little brush that comes with it too. It's just kind of a, a dual-sided little brush here. All right, so I'm gonna go into the matte setting powder side here. And the interesting thing about this powder is it really doesn't show up. It doesn't show up on the brush, that's what I mean. So when you pick up the powder, you don't see like a whole lot of product being picked up, but it is picking it up and it is applying to the skin. And you really don't need much to set. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into the glow side here and I'm gonna use the white side of the brush or the lighter side and I'm actually going to apply just a bit of glow here. I don't know if you guys can see the glow happening now, but it is a very pretty, very natural glow. So on days like today when I'm just kind of staying at home and just filming and not doing much, this glow is like perfect. And I always like putting my glow underneath, not always, but a lot of times I like putting my glow underneath my blushes and bronzers because I think it just helps them blend in a little better. I don't know if you guys can see that right here. I have, um, this little, it was a burn, it's scabbed right now, but it was a burn. I burnt myself with my straightener. And not only did I burn myself right there, but I, I clamped my straightener down on my ear. It's kind of gross, but I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know if you guys can actually see it. But I was straightening my hair and I accidentally clamped the straightener down on my ear right here. And now I've got a big scab right there from that. And that just, hurt. that hurts so bad. So fair warning. Just really try to keep your straighteners away from your ears. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you guys know that, but uh, just re reiterating that fact. All right, I'm gonna go in with some blush now, and I'm just gonna use some, um, I know I'm doing this a little bit backwards. I'm gonna do some blush, and then I'm gonna go over the top with bronzer. But I'm using this new Becca palette. Um, I've been using this actually quite a bit. This is called Blushed with Light Blush Trio Palette. Okay, it looks like this. And it has the colors Wisteria, which is this guy here, which is kind of a mauve kind of shade. Then it's got um, Songbird in the middle. And then it's got Snapdragon over here on the end. I'm sorry, I'm pointing it down, my bad. Songbird, Snapdragon. Um, I'm gonna go into, which one am I gonna use today? I'm gonna do some Wisteria, this kind of muted mauve color here. And I'm just going to use just a regular, just drugstore, I don't even know the name of it, I think it's Soho um, Blush Brush. And I'm going to go right into this guy, Wisteria. I actually really, really like these blushes. I think these were limited edition um, like part of their holiday collection. Okay, it might be time to get rid of this blush brush. It is shedding. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my favorite bronzer of all time. This is the um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, this guy here. And mine is in the color Light. I like the light. I do find that the, oh, I'm dropping stuff. I do find that the dark is a little bit dark for me, even when I am self tanning. Um, so this light one is just like perfect for me for an all over type bronze. I just love it. I just kind of put it on the biggest, fluffiest brush I can find at the moment, which this one happens to be my Real Techniques um, Bold Metals, and just kind of slather it all over. Let's go into some brows, and I have pulled out my Anastasia Brow Wiz and an extra little spoolie here. Um, I'm kind of disappointed. My little Anastasia pencil, the spoolie broke off, so I'm kind of disappointed by that. So I had to pull in an extra little spoolie here just to um, spool through the brows. So I need to hurry up and get this pencil used up so I can go buy another one. I really do like the formula of the Brow, brow Wiz. I really like the NYX one too. But I really like the formula of the Anastasia one, um, but it's not very uh, user-friendly to me right now. 
without the spoolie on the end of it. That spoolie is pretty important. Not doing a whole lot of like shaping with the brow. I'm just um, filling in mainly. Okay. See, it's just a simple, simple fill in. I'm not really uh, going overboard on the brow shaping today. Then a little bit of control freak. Um, I always use this to set my brows and I've tried other brow gels and honestly clear brow gel to me is a clear brow gel. I mean that's at least what I used to think. Um, I had the one from Salon Perfect. Uh, Maybelline made one. Um, and Then there's more expensive ones like your Anastasia ones. Um, you know so you've got you know, expensive clear brow gel, then you've got your inexpensive one, e.l.f. makes one. Um, honestly, this NYX one, the Control Freak, this has made me learn that a clear brow gel is not just a clear brow gel. This guy is amazing. It's, it deposits just enough gel that it actually sets the brows and um, it holds them all day. It, and it's not too goopy. It's, it's really, really good. And just a little bit of Benefit Highbrow here, just a little bit. Um, I always use my Benefit Highbrow even if I'm doing very minimalist, minimal, minimalist, minimalist makeup um, because I feel it really helps just set a little bit of um, highlight but also a little bit of definition to the brow. It also helps clean it up. And brows are like I think one of the most important things to do because brows really frame the face. All right, so I'm going to take the shadows very, very minimal today. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. I've been using this palette a lot. I really do like it. I've heard a lot of people say that if you have the other Naked Basics palettes that you really don't even need to worry about getting this one. Yes, the colors are different, but they're not so different that you just got to run out and go buy it. Um, but I don't have any of the other Naked Basics. I was never really interested in buying them until this one came out. So I really like this one and I'm going very, very minimalist eyeshadow today. So that's what I'm going to use. All right, so I'm just using my Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original, and I'm just going to spread that out. I always, always wear a primer or a base. Even um, when I wear a base, I still wear a primer on the eyes. It's just kind of a habit for me. Another thing I like to do is um, once I have my primer on, I do like to go over my primer with just a translucent powder. And this is just a little guy that I got in an Ipsy bag. This is the Winky Lux Diamond Powder. This guy here, he's just a, um, a translucent powder. There's no shimmer or anything like that in him. But he is very soft and very smooth. And I like to set my primer a little bit before I try to go in with shadows because my shadows stick and they tend to um, crease up. So just a little bit of translucent powder all over. Cleaning it off. Sorry if I keep looking down. I've just kind of got stuff scattered everywhere. Um, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Um, I'm going to start with going into... Um, Commando, which is this one right here, the third one in the palette. It's kind of a mauve grayish type shade, but it's very light, and I'm just going to throw it in the crease here. Then I'm going to use the little brush that came in this Naked Ultimate Basics palette, this little guy here. It's a double-ended. It's got kind of a smudger and then a little bit of a flat, but also a little fluffy on the other side. Um, and I'm going to take Nude, which is the second color here, and I'm going to put that all over the lid. Okay, and then I'm going to take this little smudger side, and I'm going to take... Um, pre-game, this kind of white creamy shade here, and I'm going to put this under the brow bone. Alright, I'm going with the, just the tiniest amount of eyeliner today. I'm using my Maybelline Master Precise Skinny, and this is the Charcoal Gray. Um, does it actually have? It's called Refined Charcoal. And I'm just going to use that 
in my tight line. I don't feel like doing a whole huge, you know, eyeliner line today. I just got a text message. So I'm going to put that just in the tight line, just for a little bit of definition. I really like these because the tip on them is so, so skinny, it's really easy to get in between those lashes. Okay, do you guys notice a difference? Other than this eye just watering like crazy now. Alright, then on the bottom waterline, I'm going in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterliner in um, Walk of Shame. This is just a nude color, and I like using this on the bottom waterline because I feel like it helps my eyes really open up, and I really, really like that. I like that look, especially here lately. I've not been, I've been going with more of the natural type look and not so much the smoky eye type look lately, so this, I've really been liking this. And as far as mascara goes today, I'm going with the Supersizer Fibers from CoverGirl. I do really like this one. Um, I really love the formula and the brush on this mascara. And I wasn't a fan, really, of the original. Well, it was kind of original. It was the original Supersizers, the waterproof. I wasn't a fan of that at all. But this fiber one, I really, really liked. And because of that, I went and I bought the um, the original Super Sizer, not the waterproof, but just the regular one. And I discovered that I really did like that one as well. So the waterproof one maybe is just not so good, but the original one isn't too bad at all. Um, I noticed that myself, anyway, I have got, my eyelids are a little bit crepey, so when I put mascara on and I get it too close to the root, it tends to get on my lid, um, and it makes a mess. So if any of you other ladies out there have that same issue, if you just let the mascara dry, you can just take your fingernail and it'll scrape right off without having to, you know, mess up your makeup underneath. I think I'm going to go with a really natural lip, and this is just something that I picked up from Dollar Tree. This is called the LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss Matte, this guy here. He's kind of like a liquid lipstick, but he's a very natural shade, so we're going to try him out today. It's very all over my teeth. So he's very um, lightweight and whipped feeling. Kind of reminds me of those NYX um, Suede's, is that what they were called? So the NYX Suede liquid lipsticks, that's kind of what it reminds me of a little bit. Here's my finished Sunday morning look for today. So yeah, like I said, it was very, very minimalistic, not a whole lot to it. A um, little bit of foundation, a little bit of concealer, tiny bit of eyeshadow, mascara. I mean, not much at all to it at, at, at all. I mean, it's just Sunday morning. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a little bit of filming and lounging around the house. So, you know, didn't feel like fixing the hair, didn't feel like getting all glammed up, and I just didn't. So, here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, guys, you can look me up on my website at www.rockfabulousonline.com. You can look me up on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, all under rockfabulous40s. And guys, don't forget to hit subscribe down there somewhere, and you too can rock your fabulous 40s, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.